Welcome to the Folktale Project. This is Dan Scholes. This week, we're going to read three stories from Belgium. In fact, three stories from Flanders, specifically. Belgium is a country that we haven't visited yet, and that is a wrong that I am looking to write. Mostly so that I can read three tales from Beasts and Men. Folk tales collected in Flanders, illustrated by Jean de Vaucher. This first story is How the Goldfinch Got His Colors. When the angel whose mission it was to color the birds had finished his work, he began to scrape his palate and to make ready for departure. He had done his task well, for the plumage of the feathered creatures all around him glowed with a thousand glorious colors. There was the lordly eagle, arrayed in a robe of golden brown. The peacock had a tail of shimmering blue and green that looked as if it were studded with precious stones. The crow's black coat shone in the sun with a kind of steely radiance, very wonderful to behold. The canary was as yellow as a buttercup. The jay had a spot of blue sky on either wing. Even the humble sparrow wore a handsome black necktie. While Chantelier, the cock, the resplendent in yellow, black, and red. All the birds were very proud of their appearance, and they strutted about here and there, gazing at their reflections in the water and calling upon their neighbors to come and admire their beauties. Alone among all the birds, the little goldfinch took no part in the rejoicing. Somehow or other, the angel had overlooked him, so that he remained uncolored, a drab little creature in his somber gray dress among the gaily colored throng. More than once he had tried to draw the angel's attention to himself, and now, seeing him cleaning his palate in readiness to depart, he stepped forward and said, Have, have pity on me, good angel, that you paint my plumage, as you have painted that of the others, so that I may walk among them unashamed. I have nothing to commend me, no beautiful song like the nightingale or throstle, no grace of form such as the swallows have. If I am to go unadorned, nothing remains for me but to hide myself among the leaves. Then the angel took pity on the little creature, and would gladly have painted him with glowing colors, but, alas, he had scraped his palette clean. Therefore, he took up a brush, and going from bird to bird, took from each a spot of color, which he laid upon the goldfinch, blending a score of brilliant hues with marvelous skill. When he had finished, the tiny bird was transformed. From being the saddest in that brilliant company, he took a place among the most beautiful of them all. It is not possible by means of words to describe the beauty of the coloring which the angel gave to the goldfinch. But you may see him any day you like, sitting on a thistle and chirping his song of gratitude and praise. And that is the Belgian tale of how the goldfinch got his colors. And again, it's just a heartwarming tale of a bird that just couldn't get the attention of the angel who was painting the other birds, and in the end, gets the most beautiful plumage of all. This is Dan Schulz for the Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeart Radio, Spotify, anywhere you like to listen. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com where you'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. As always, thank you so much for listening. <laughs>